Two middle school students are hospitalized after a hazmat incident in San Jose. And could we bag them? The San Jose Sharks get the number one overall pick in the NHL draft. I'll tell you who they have their eye on. I'm Diana San Juan. Let's get you synced in. Really scary moments for students and staff at a San Jose middle school who experienced difficulty breathing Wednesday morning. It happened around 9 a.m. at Sunrise Middle School. The principal said that about 24 students walked into a classroom and about half of them started coughing. Emergency crews were called and by the time they showed up, most students felt better, but two of them were taken to the hospital for further evaluation. The hazmat team says the classroom contained elevated levels of carbon dioxide and the source has since been removed and the classroom aired out. Normal classes resumed before 11 a.m. Now let's go to San Francisco where a neighborhood is on edge after a black man says he's been the target of two racist threats in the last two weeks. Terry Williams lives near Alamo Square and says messages of hate have shown up right at his front door. It happened first on April 26 and then again just this Sunday. He says the second was worse than the first and though he's lived in San Francisco his whole life and occasionally experienced racial slurs, it's never been like this. They printed up something about black people and all stuff that we, they said to us in slavery days. Nothing ever like this ever in my life, ever. And I asked my friends, have you went through nothing like this? I heard of stuff in the 80s, or like 70s, but nothing, nothing, nothing of this nature. Williams has been a professional dog walker for decades, so he's often seen around the area. He thinks someone might have followed him home and targeted him. There's some surveillance video from the neighborhood, but it's hard to get a good look at the suspect. Neighbors say Williams is a kind person and are shocked that this is even happening. They're rallying around him, making sure the suspect is found and held responsible. Police are investigating. And could this turn things around? For the first time in franchise history, the San Jose Sharks have been awarded the number one overall pick in the NHL draft. They're expected to draft Macklin Celebrini, the top-rated prospect. At just 17 years old, the center has racked up 32 goals and 32 assists in just 37 games at Boston University this season. Amazing! And listen to this, he has local ties. He's played for the Junior Sharks during the 2019 season, and his dad, Rick Celebrini, is the Golden State Warriors Director of Sports Medicine and Performance. After the Sharks won the lottery, Macklin said, quote, I lived there for a little bit growing up, obviously with my dad, with the Warriors. If I'm fortunate to get drafted there, I'd be very lucky. And so would we, right? For more on this story, head over to NBCBayArea.com slash sports. And wondering what that bluish, greenish laser beam lighting up the sky in San Francisco is? It's all part of the cybersecurity conference happening in the city this week. The beam is product of Barrett Lyon, the CEO of Mega Laser and CTO of Tarsola, a data security company. The laser is based at Telegraph Hill, but visible from 12 miles away, so you can definitely get a good look. Looks pretty cool. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. See you later.